everybody, Lammy here, and welcome to my Halloween series for 2014. In this video, we're going to be showing you how we made that feather Halloween creepy wreath that was on our front door in our Halloween decoration video. So if you'd like to know how to make that, keep on watching. Here are the supplies you're going to need. You will need one round wreath made out of styrofoam and you can get these at uh, any craft store. The second thing you're going to need is two feather boas and the ones that we have here are six feet long. Then comes the fun part guys. You can decorate your wreath however you want. After you have your base, which is the, the foam wreath and the boas, you can put whatever decorations you want on them. So this year we kind of want ours to be a little creepy. These are just glitter skulls, and then we have black roses, and then we have some creepy cloth. So yeah, these are the supplies we're going to be using. You will also need scissors and T-pins. T-pins have their name because they're shaped like the letter T. And T-pins, you're going to stick down into your styrofoam wreath to hold all of the decorations to it. You could also use hot glue or any type of craft glue if you would like. So first things first, you're going to take your uh, styrofoam wreath and you're going to take one of your boas. You put the boas on one at a time. So you find the end of your boa, and then you need to take one of your T-pins that I mentioned earlier, and you're going to take, and you're going to take the T-pin and stick it through the end of the boa. And if you're using glue, it's the same concept. You'll just put the glue on here instead. And you stick it through, and it sticks into the wreath, see? And then it stays. So then what you need to do is weave your boa around the wreath, like this. So what you're doing is you're using the boa to cover the styrofoam. And you don't need T-pins for this because if you do it tight enough, it'll stay by itself. So I'm gonna speed up this part of the video so this doesn't get too long. All right, so when you get to the end of where that boa is going to be, um, what you might need to do is space this out a little bit so that way it's not all in one area. You want this to go at least halfway around the wreath is what you really want because, or you could use more boas. It's just completely up to you. Now, once you get it here, this part is gonna be on the back of the wreath once more because here's the top part that's on the back up here. We're going to take another T-pin and stick it down inside there and attach it to the wreath. So now half of your wreath is done. So I'm gonna do the other half and I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is our wreath. So remember our black roses that we had? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take them and we're gonna cut them off at a certain point and then we're gonna stick them down in there so they're gonna sit on the wreath like that. So let me get my scissors and cut these and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have cut the rose, and this is only about an inch long on the stem now. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna push it down into the styrofoam so it'll be nice and secure and it'll be down in there so it won't come off. And see, it starts to cover up that spot. So I'm gonna add the other one and then you'll see how it works. So see, now it covers up that white spot that was open. There we go. Now we're going to add the skulls. My little glitter skulls that I really like, they're kind of creepy, but because they have glitter on them, it makes them kind of fun too. Now the glitter skulls, you can put wherever you want around the wreath. You can put as many as you want. And if you want to decorate this where it's more fun and not so creepy with like skulls and things, you could use bats, you could use little witch hats, you could do spiders, spider webbing. There's a lot of things that you could do. So I'm going to stick this right here above the roses, I think. And I'm gonna take more of my little T-pins and stick that in there. And then these others, I might put one up here and then one down here. So uh, I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back. I attached my skulls. Um, I put a T-pin through the back of the skull into the wreath and also at the top where the string hangs from the skull. So that is what that looks like so far. Now what I'm gonna do is add some creepy cloth. Um, creepy cloth 
looks like this. You can get this at any craft store. By the way, we bought all of this at Michael's Craft Store, if you guys have a Michael's near you or a Joann's. Um, but yeah, I've got this creepy cloth, so it's just all torn up and gross. And I'm gonna cut this into little segments, and then I am going to hang bits of it. I'm gonna use a T-pin to stick it into here, and I'm just gonna kinda put it throughout, just to make the wreath look a little more creepy. Here's the wreath after we added the creepy cloth, so you can see that I just strategically put it in various places around the wreath. And now, for the final touch, I'm gonna to take one of these glitter spiders that we have. Creepy, creepy. I don't like spiders, and neither does Lammy. Lammy, what do you think? I really don't want you to put that on there, Mom. Why not? Cause it's a little creepy. Well, Lammy, this whole wreath is creepy. It's got skulls on it, for goodness sake. So anyway, we're gonna take this, and um, I don't know where I wanna put it. I don't know if I should put it at the top, or maybe down here. I think I'll put it down here. And I'm just gonna tuck his legs inside this creepy cloth stuff. Hopefully he'll stay. Yeah, he'll stay. That's pretty creepy. It's a little detail you can't see until you get up close, and then it's like, ew, I might put another one up there too. So anyway, let's go hang this on the door and we can see what it really looks like. Cool. All right, guys, so the wreath is on our front door, as you saw in our decoration video, but I just wanted to show you an up-close view of it uh, one more time. So anyway, yeah, here, get up close, Mom. Okay. Alright guys, so that's it for this particular Halloween video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so that way you'll get to see all the other Halloween uh, things I have planned for this month. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to be doing crafts like this. I'll be doing some food videos. Oh, and I got a shop for my Halloween costume too. Anyway guys, I'll talk to you next time.